So today I'm going to just talk to you about the Mason CC and let you look at it a little bit. It's a really cool piano. And uh, let's start off with the inside here. Mason and Hamlin does a rather unique harp. And you can really tell along the back uh, side there. They do a full perimeter plate, which means the plate goes all the way around the rim of the piano. And typically piano manufacturers won't have any metal back here along the spine of the piano. But here, there's, there's metal. All that is your full perimeter plate. And most piano manufacturers will have metal along uh, this full area of the piano. That's pretty standard. Mason and Hamlin tends to have a lot of metal there and not very many portholes, so it looks extra wide and flat and just extra big. And as you can see, the whole inside of the piano there is very pretty as well. There's their badge on the soundboard. And uh, another thing that makes Mason and Hamlin pianos rather interesting is their use of the tension resonator, which is a metal device that goes underneath the piano. In most of their grands, they use one tension resonator, but in the CC, they actually use two that they chain together. And what the tension resonator does is it actually helps hold the piano in place and prevent it from changing and shifting due to changes in the humidity, and it prevents the soundboard from uh, the crown from going away, and it really makes Masons last a long time. I've seen Masons from 1910 or 20 that haven't had their soundboards replaced, and they sound absolutely fantastic, especially for a piano of that age. And as you can see, the piano just it just looks really pretty. I like their logo, and it looks it looks really sleek and awesome. I'm going to play a little tiny bit here. One of my favorite things about this piano is the bass. My favorite, my favorite bass sound in a piano is just that rich, growly sound, and it's absolutely fantastic. I haven't even played this piano loud. I'm sure once I play the bass loud, I will just fall in love with it. Another thing that I really like about this piano is the treble. It's really, really pretty. And what's great is this piano has fantastic sustain. That one goes for a long time. But what I find is that a lot of the times piano manufacturers or sometimes technicians will, um, but often the piano factories themselves, will lacquer the hammers in this area if they feel there is a weakness. Uh, Mason and Hamlin will do this a lot. I've seen some, uh, some of their pianos where there's way too much lacquer in this area and it just does not sound good. This piano, I think, has a tiny bit too much lacquer because I really don't think it needs any. And I find that when I'm playing stuff in the treble, I have to play it very quietly to prevent it from becoming too shrill. I really like a, a crystalline, soft, gentle treble, not a bright, punch-you-in-the-face kind of treble. So overall, but that's kind of a little bit nitpicky thing. And overall, I think that the Mason & Hamlin CC, this particular one that I found in this wonderful piano store in the LA area, which I will mention down in the comments. So if you're curious and you want to see this piano for yourself, you can look down in the comments and I will put the name of the store down there. This piano is really fantastic and it's one of my favorites in the whole store. And uh, I love to play my own music on fantastic pianos. And so today I thought that I would play my original song, um, Things That Make You Stronger, on this beautiful Mason & Hamlin CC piano.
and, and Hamlin CC piano is absolutely fantastic. The action is light and smooth and responsive, and it's really, really great. Mason Hamlin uses a carbon fiber and a composite action made by uh, Wessel Nickel and Gross. And when those actions are really refined, they can become extremely, extremely great. Uh, the piano is fantastic. The bass is powerful and rich and warm and amazing. And the rest of the piano has no issues whatsoever competing with the bass. If anything, I almost have to play this piano a little bit quieter than usual in the treble, uh, in the tenor and treble area because it's just extremely, extremely powerful. you found this video interesting and informative uh, if you liked it you can go check out my channel I have lots of videos on all kinds of cool pianos and all sorts of other stuff music related as well and uh, if you like it you might want to think about subscribing and if you do that thank you very much I'll see you in the next video